All right, Kanye, this is, sorry, Mr. Bean. This is add and subtract radicals, okay? This is the last part we have to go over. Now, adding and subtracting radicals, it's a lot like uh, adding and subtracting fractions. Jordan, with fractions, what has to be the same in order to add or subtract? The denominator. And just like fractions, okay, the, so to say, denominator needs to be the same. But the denominator in this case is the base. Or, well, not the base, but the radical, okay? So does everybody see how I have root 32 and three root two? I can't add these in the form they're in. I have to either make the root two a root 32, or I have to make a root 32 a root two. And if I were to make a root two a root 32, that would essentially be the equivalent of me writing my answer, not in simplest form. So what I need to do is I need to break down root 32. So Harshan, what two numbers go into 32? Remember the perfect squares we were talking about the other day. Um, like the same two numbers? Yeah, so remember like four is this perfect square because two times two is four. Nine is a perfect square because it's three times three. Well, 12 times two would give me 24. Uh, 16. 16. So 16 and two. And the reason why 16 and two works really well is because 16 is four and four. We have my pair of fours. So root 32 would become four root two plus three root two. Notice I just brought that down. And then Liam, just like Fractions, we would just like kind of add the numbers um, outside, kind of like adding the numerators. So four plus three is seven. So Emma, this would be seven root two. Kind of makes sense, AJ? Not bad, right? Now with question number 20, okay. The problem here is, well, I have 27 and 48. Notice, they both can be broken down a little bit further. So Drew, can you help me with 27? What two numbers go into 27? Think about it. What was that? Nine and three. And I really like nine because that's three and three. So, 27 is going to become three root three. But don't forget there was a two outside. So the two drops straight down and that becomes two times three root three. And two times three is what, Neve? Six. six. So this is six root three. All right. So that's the first part of the problem. Now, the second part of the problem is dealing with the 48. Matt, can you tell me two numbers that go into 48? What was that? 24 and two, okay. Now, Drew went the perfect square route. Matt's gonna go with, he's kind of unsure what perfect square goes into 48. So he's gonna do it with 24 and two. Now, Matt, we can't break down two, but we can certainly break down 24, right? Can you give me another number that goes into 24? Six and four, perfect. So, six and four. Matt, can I break down six? Three and two. And then four is two and two. Now, I remember yesterday, Soph said, well, do the, not, do the twos have to be next to each other? And the answer is no. I have a pair of twos right here, and I have a pair of twos right here. So I'm going to pull one two out, another two out, and the only thing left is that root three. Do you follow me on that? Good? Okay. Destiny, how are you doing with that? Pretty good? Awesome. 
Now, don't forget this three is needs to drop straight down. So not only do I have, let me drill that one. Not only do I have the two pairs of twos that I pulled out, but I also have the three. So three times two times two, well, three times two is six times two is 12. So I have six root three minus 12 root three. And Delaney, what's six minus 12? So this is gonna be negative six root three. Now, to let you guys know, I did not put any of these on the take home quiz. I felt that'd be kind of unfair. So I didn't bother doing that. Any questions here? AJ, you okay? All right. And that's all I'm going to do about that because we got to get going on this stuff. All right.